Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Today we're going to move some cows around and put the bull in if that's something you're interested in. Y'all stick around. Putting the bull in with the cows today. He's almost two. Such a sweet boy. Come on, Willie. He said, but dad, there's fresh grass. We were just sorting them out, so we put the bulls in this little lot and they were trying to get him back out. He's coming now. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Come on. Come on, babies. There we go. Oh, finally go around. There we go. Good girls. Good girls. Willie, you don't need all that feed. Go play with the girls. Hello, Dumbo. Good morning. Good morning. That's your day, the pretty. And the pretty green grass. Willie says, girls, I've been wondering what this smell was. <laughs> it's girls. We put our Brahma bull in. We want them to have their calves um, between April, May, June. If it's really cold when a Brahma baby's born, it will not get up. They're used to a warmer climate. And Northwest Alabama is almost too cool of a climate for the Brahmas. Um, they they love the sun and the heat and you know they're just tough animals but they don't like the cold so that's why we chose this time of the year to put the bull in there's you one that should be about ready interesting fact about cows they have an acute sense of smell and they can detect odors up to six miles away 
which is helpful in detecting imminent danger. Cows track their calves from their scent. When you put the bull in with the cows and they smell their behind or sniff their urine, that is actually a term called flamen. It's a German term that means curling the upper lip. And that allows them to expose their vomeronasal organ located in their palate. It's used to detect estrus in a cow's urine, which in turn lets them know whether the cow is ready to be serviced. Pretty interesting stuff though. So if you ever see a bull making this face, you'll know what he's doing. Kind of opposite on my Herefords. The Herefords like cooler weather. We're almost too far south to raise Herefords. Um, they like to hang out in the creek, you know, during the summer because it's so hot. Um, not going to happen this year because the drought's so bad that we don't have much of a creek. But anyway, we um, like to calf those out. Really, I'm wanting all fall calvers, but it's it's just really hard to get that group. Um, we're narrowing it down. Last year we calved from mid-October to mid-April. Um, we we're trying to shorten that window, so we're taking them out now. Hopefully be done calving um, by the time we start rotational grazing. Very proud of Knox though. Um, he will be two in August and he's held his weight really well. This is just a little steer that we weaned as well. His mom was kind of pulling down and he, he it was time for him to be weaned. So cows are herd animals. They don't like to be by themselves. Thanks for watching today. Y'all please like, share, and subscribe. See y'all later. How fresh is this stuff? Could be any fresh or will we still be grazing?